guys welcome back to the channel once again in our, in this episode i will be talking about these young black star players who are doing very well for their respective clubs and uh, also another confirm one done deal for this young black star striker i'll be telling you more and share with you, you know at what i mean it's a uh, verge of joining but more i'll be telling you and also talk about you know another young player called terry clamty and other black star players who had the verge of moving to join other european clubs okay so uh before we talk about this and many other stories this is very new steve you don't forget that you subscribe to the channel you hit the notification bell share the video to your friends you like and also you comment can you like and also comment let me know what you think about the stories i'm about to share with you also don't forget to like the video okay so now let me start from you no know, bristol city uh striker antoine semenyo and also uh black stars striker antoine semenyo is said to complete his transfer move to english premier league side bonmouth okay a report by uk journalist that's alice crook suggests that the british born Ghanaian striker is set for medicals on thursday january 26 after bonmouth agreed on nine million pounds deal with Bristol City. Okay, the Premier League side seems to have won the race for the red hot striker beating competition from Crystal Palace and also Burnley. Okay, so you know Crystal Palace wanted to sign him and also Burnley want to sign that same player, but uh Bonmouth were able to uh, beat them on Dali because of money and other stuff. So you know Bristol City reported rejected ten million pounds bid from Burnley, who also played in the a championship okay and then an eight million bid initial bid from Bournemouth. now Bournemouth sent initial eight million and it was rejected first they, they sent a six million uh pounds then it was rejected they uh, increased it to eight it was rejected now they have imp uh, improved it to nine million euro uh, pounds rather and uh, now they have agreed to accept that one and they refused to sell the boy to you know Burnley, Ben who also played in the championship so what i say so if you are selling our best player our striker for uh a team in not a team in the championship that will compete with them so they didn't sell uh at was to Burnley, but rather they sold him to that but more for nine million pounds okay so Antoine Samuel has scored seven goals provided two assists in 27 games in all competition this season you know he scored four goals in his last five games for his championship side this season the boy is not having much playing time because of uh injuries that he's uh suffering from okay so a lot of injury situation this season is worrying and to Semenyo. you know Semenyo was part of ghana's squad that went to the world cup qatar 2022 okay now he was very instrumental in Ghana's uh, pre World Cup matches, he scored a goal against uh, Switzerland, and uh, also he had some minutes at the World Cup play against uh, Portugal. He also played against uh, South Korea. It's really regret that he could not get much playing time in that very game. So it's a done deal for Antoine Samuel to move and also go and play for that's a uh, Bournemouth in the English Premier League. We wish him all the best. And now uh, we pray that he will excel in the English Premier League so that uh, Ghana will have no soon fast was and so the bomb for some black stars. Okay, now let me shift the attention and also talk about another young talented player by the name, you know, Tariq Lamte. You know, Ghanaians are urging and pushing him to move to Leon. Okay, so Tariq Lamte feature at Brighton and Hove Abiyam is uncertain with French giant. Olympic uh, Leon, you know, reported to be interested in the Ghanaian right back. You know, uh, according to Telegraph journalist Luke uh, Edwards, the links are credible and it would be a good move to help the 22 year old, you know, reunite his career. I really like Tariq Lamte when he first moved to Brighton, but his time has been hampered by a serious hamstring injury. That is what, you know, Telegraph uh, you know, reporter said in his uh, podcast. Okay, you know, uh, you have to worry when explosive players like him pick up injuries like this, but he is still young. Uh, he has only uh, started one Premier League game this season. And in all the joy and uh, progress at our next stadium, he has been left behind a bit. A move to Lyon could be a really good option, and I'm pleased where we are seeing more 
willingness players uh, of players to go and play abroad. So that is that's what Jan said concerning you no know, Terry Lamte. You know, that was promising. Even when he was at Chelsea, he did very, very well. But uh, Chelsea, his chance of playing the first team was limited. So he moved to Brighton, Hove Abiem, and uh, he started really, really well. But injuries also started setting in. So he is not having a much playing time. This season, he has started only one you no know, English Premier League game. Yeah, a planning to boy known to me. So going to uh, Olympic Lyon will be very, very good for the boy and for development. Okay, 22 years. You know, these days, uh, as soon as we hit 22, 23, 24, Charlie, you are your peak. So the boy should think of moving to a team that he can get uh, enough playing time. Okay. Uh, Edward also uh, explained that uh, any deal may be you no know, contingent on Brighton Hove Abiam manager. Graham Potter, you know, Graham Potter was using the boy, but Charlie, a few coaches, Nana Kovono, the new manager started, you know, dropping uh, Terry Lamte. So, this is what they said if Lamte is to go, is uh, it probably will be a replacement for Mario Augusto, who has been linked with Chelsea. Okay, so Lamte has struggled for playing time this season, which could influence his decision to move. He has only played 655 minutes of English Premier League football for Brighton and Hove Albion. So that is it. Uh, Chelsea should move in for Mario Gusto so that the guy also will go to uh, you know, Olympic Leon because I really want to see this young chap you know, moving to play for a good team so that he will not be sitting on bench, 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 bench. Because as soon as he hit 23-24, Charlie, his, his career will start uh, coming down, start going down, and you, before you know, then I want me and ball Papa Bia. So, guys, that is it. You know, Antoine Samuel is uh, has been granted permission by Bristol City to go for medicals at Premier League side as a bottom off, and it's something that is huge. And uh, also, not forgetting that Eric Lamte is uh, also at the verge of joining. Olympic Leon, Olympic Leon, okay, very good team. But the subject to you no know, Malin Gosta you not know, joining Chelsea so that you too, you can move and join another player. Okay, another player to that a lot are talking about on social media is that's a uh, Salis Abdul Samed. Okay, you no know, Ghanaians have started making campaign, pushing him here and there that uh, Chelsea should sign him, this club should sign him. Uh, let's see what will happen if Chelsea or any. English Premier League side will uh, afford to sign this very young, talented player. This is Billy News TV. Let's meet another time. Bye-bye. For now.